Hello, Sam Calagione here, founder of Brewer Dogfish Head Craft Brewery. Excited for the, we're on the precipice of Analog of Go Go. This will be the first year ever uh, that we do it virtually, but it's our 10th anniversary, so we wanted to be super duper special. So we reached out to one of our favorite bands who have played our hallowed halls in Rehoboth before to be our 10th anniversary music guest for Analog, and it is Mount Joy, and I'm super, super excited today that we get to chat with Matt Quinn of Mount Joy. How you doing, Matt? I'm doing well. Thanks so much for having me. <laughs> Good to see you. And I know you guys, as a band, have, have roots in uh, these days in both Los Angeles and uh, right up the road from where I'm sitting here in coastal Delaware in uh, Philadelphia. And which of the coasts are you, are you on? Yeah, so, uh, I mean, you know, as... I guess we might talk about the the COVID world yeah. has shaken things up. And I, I was actually out in Los Angeles, but I've since uh, during COVID moved back home to Philadelphia and, and we're we're in Philadelphia right now. And are, is, are all band members back in the Philly area or are you guys dispersed during COVID? Yeah, so uh, Sam and I, who both grew up in the area, are back in Philadelphia. Um, but the rest of the band is kind of spread out. So uh, the two of us, are in Long Beach, California, still, and one other person in uh, in Portland, Oregon. That's super cool. And you guys, uh, as I said, played Dogfish. Uh, you know, I, I guess it was a year ago. I think you were on our our stage in Rehoboth, and you guys blew us away. It was an awesome show, and we were excited that you guys were available to join us for the momentous occasion of our our tenth ever analog. And but we were chatting earlier. We have mutual friends in the Schultz family who lives here in lewis and uh they they kind of kind of kind of pimped the deal and got us together because i guess you guys were drinking dogfish we were listening to your music tell us a little bit about uh, the kismet there yeah i mean i've been uh good friends with max uh and and the schultzes i mean geez since i was a little kid so i've known them for a long time great family friends great people and uh you know they love dogfish head and uh so do i and uh I know, I guess they moved down to Lewis. I don't know how long ago that was, but, you know, obviously you guys are such a, a staple of, of Lewis down there as well. And um, they they were, you know, kind of saying that I could eventually play a show or something like that for Dogfish Head. And I was like, hey, whenever whenever I can be a part of something that, that's already, you know, actively kind of been a part of, I was going to say childhood, but I guess it wasn't <laughs> necessarily my childhood. <laughs> It makes uh, us all feel young, is what you meant to say, right? Exactly, yeah. Beer exactly. makes us all feel young. And living in, growing up in the PA area, you know, we're beer geeks. We're not beer snobs in the same way that I know from your sort of influence of multiple genres. You guys are music geeks and not uh, music snobs. Are there other mid-Atlantic breweries that you and your bandmates dig uh, from the Philly area or outside of that area? Yeah, totally. Um, you know, I... I, I I think there's a ton of great beers around here and I try to buy um, and try the different ones that people are making around here. I like, you know, I like Victory. Um, I've been getting into Tired Hands, which is one um, close to, to where I am here in Philly. Yeah. Um, you know, like uh, Yards is good here in Philly. Love City has made some beers that I like recently here in Philly. And um, obviously, truly, Dogfish Head, there was uh, this summer, or maybe we'll talk about this later. Sorry if I'm jumping ahead. No, but, go ahead. This summer, I um, I actually have a good um, family tie to uh, one of the brewers at uh, Rodenbach in Belgium. Wow, that's a small world. Yeah, super small world. In fact, um, yeah, basically, I, I growing up, I had a babysitter who uh, was from Belgium, and mm -hmm. she's a great family friend now. We've stayed in touch, and she married one of the, I don't know if he's the brewmaster or one of the people at Rodenbach, and so mm -hmm. that's been, um, you know, a beer that has always been, you know, if I see it somewhere, I'll buy it. And uh, I was walking into my local um, beer distributor here in Philly and saw that there was a Rodenbach Dogfish Head collab yeah. and picked it up and it was delicious. I think it was like uh, like a sour kind of type beer and absolutely delicious. So that was really cool, too. Wow. You go you go deep. Yeah, it was Vibrant Potion is the one that we did with them. And it wasn't. Is it Rudy? Rudy's the brewmaster there. His uh, name is Matthew. Um, uh, I don't yeah, I don't know what his position is there, but. He's yeah. been there for a long time. At Rodenbach. Yeah. 
that's that's pretty cool um so so cool let's talk a little bit about you know making music in in the the covid era you're probably sick of talking about that just as we're all sick of being on zooms and teams of sorts but it's the reality that we live in and we got to figure out how to get what we make and what we love and what we want to share with the people who love it out into the world regardless of the circumstances so you guys uh you know released your your most recent album i think in june and we're planning to do i don't know if it was a global but a big tour with the lumineers uh take, take me through that moment of being an artist and and not only just having to navigate a pandemic just for your own safety and the safety of your loved one but what it, what it means when you're releasing you know one of your your most important pieces of work in this moment and how you pivot and, and and kind of make lemonades out of lemon with that yeah i mean it wasn't easy i think for everyone there was a, a moment um at least for us where you kind of look at this whole COVID situation and it's hitting you from every single angle you can't play shows um for us obviously there was some fear about releasing music um you know just the civil rights movement as well happening um, which, you know, we feel really strongly about and we didn't want to um, take away from that. So there were just so many things hitting us from so many different angles. It really kind of felt like maybe this is checkmate, you know, like maybe this is a uh, this is this is a spot where, you know, we just the circumstances, we, we're not going to be able to overcome them. And, and, you know, being a band when you can't play live shows and, and you know, where people maybe don't want to hear your music right now it's kind of like well then what are we you know you have this sort of moment where you have to pivot like you said and yeah um for us i i think it was really realizing that we do and we do have people that that appreciate our music and appreciate our message and uh, and that gives us an opportunity to do things like raise money and and you know we put on a show on instagram where you know we couldn't obviously get in a venue so you everyone kind of moved over to instagram and doing things like this and um, we were able to, you know, raise money and raise awareness and feel like we were a part of the solution. And I think right now, when we're in as deep a problem as we are as a world, um, you just kind of shift to trying to be a part of the solution. And that, that's really kind of all we've got. Yeah, that, that's uh, inspiring, like glass half full way of looking at it. Do you guys as a band agree on when there are opportunities to give back to the communities that support you or, you know, nonprofit? Uh, entities that you guys collectively agree upon or is it kind of up to each band member to say hey here that's my turn to pick when we do this event or we do this thing that we're doing to give back to a community how do you guys navigate that as a band um i think everyone's pretty much you know a collective and and anyone that you know comes up with an idea that you know we that they feel strongly about i i think pretty much is not going to really receive any resistance i i think you know, we really just put our heads together and decided as a group, like, OK, you know, where can we make the most impact? Um, and for us, at least in the case of that uh, moment, it was um, local food bank here in Philadelphia and um, and uh, Campaign Zero, which is a, a um, an organization that is hoping to end police brutality. Um, and I think that those were just two ideas that came up and you kind of kind of vote on them like a democracy like we hope to uh, continue here in america <laughs> well matt thank you so much this was illuminating and super fun i don't know about you but i'm getting thirsty both for a drink and to hear mount joy so you ready to do this let's do it let's do this ladies and gentlemen mount joy Nicholas, in the absence of grace. 
What's up, guys? We're Mount Joy, coming at you from the first time from our new uh, place to play. We're in this barn here uh, where Sam and I grew up. Yeah, let's have some fun.
please vote. I'm always waiting for you. I'm always. 
breath in your city like I'm fed. And I did not want our love to be erased. But Lord knows we chased it. Love just rearranged. We have a few more songs for you guys, and stay tuned. Um, we're going to be doing more songs and music uh, from this barn um, that we wish we owned, but we have for a little while, so we're going to make the best of it. So stay tuned. Um, remember to vote. Vote early, um, and make sure your vote gets there. Um, yeah, let's turn this thing around. Let me turn my guitar on. <laughs> Upon the mountain caught on the rail line Upon the mountain caught on the rail line My brother let the heart drug you Drink your wine, smoke your weed My brother let the heart stir Straighten my sweater, fix my spine, step up in line. 
I'm older and fool high And I don't know why I'm so nervous I won't make it Cause that's my fate Be waiting In those big brown eyes
got one more for you guys. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned. Cardinals in the white snow They got two eyes To fly home For the winter And I had a roommate walk He got so high He couldn't go out at night So he found love on the internet In his streets in Pennsylvania And the rest of the birds on Turks and Caicos Reads like a truth commercial But we feel bad So we get stoned and do snow angels